I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw! And apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his title the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard The Lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. I agree, he's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against the veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight. So I'd actually give the advantage to the lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, The Lock's long-awaited debut is happening right now on Monday Night Raw. And what a way to kick things off as Sami Zayn's challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. There's been a lot of talk about how The Lock's going to change the game in WWE, but I'll believe it when I see it. Time to see if he's ready. Zayn with a takedown. It's locked in, the Koji clutch. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Vicious forearm right in the skull. Ooh, the WWE Universe giving him an extra shot. No, no, no. Somersault punch out. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Ooh, the release on the German suplex. Just launched. Zayn looking helpless to every attack. Now we're seeing some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. Momentum going back to Zayn's corner. But Zayn has to push now while the window's open. Hey, we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You can say that again. Time to get the let up. And this match will head back to the ring. Lock sizing him up from the top. Oh, oh, just completely off target there. An absolutely terrible Whoa. landing ringside. Watch the knee. 
Foot to the lower back. Look at all these oh clock stops. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. The lock isn't holding anything back. Mounted Mounted. palm strikes. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Exploder suplex! Turning the tables! What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. From the middle rope. Oh, straight to the floor. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Oh, God! I was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. And a kick to the body to finish it off. And back in the ring we go. Champ looking to end this. And the champ can't keep the challenger down long. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. He knew this was coming. <laughs> Tremendous series of kicks. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. He turns it around. Utilizing a little pen check to left. Turn out the lights. <laughs> Placed into the corner. Trapped in the corner, no way out. Oh, finishing off with a nasty uppercut. Producing a trampling. Nowhere to go, being victimized by those Muay Thai knee strikes. What disrespectful, my gosh. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sami. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. He has a right where he wants him. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Momentum going back to Zane's corner. But Zane has to push now while the window's open. And we just saw some serious offense. And the lock has picked up the pace. Yeah, the lock is proving hard to keep up with. And a roundhouse. Climbing up to the top now. Are you kidding me? A rotation moonsault! Sammy isn't going to like what's about to come his way. Not me.
many superstars can say they captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future Come world on. champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sami Zayn from behind. Well, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sami goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sami. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sami again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sami for a ride. Just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Luck. What a debut! There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good, we can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat with a K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion, The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you, too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out OK for him, didn't they? Guess so. I got to run. But I promise, this is going to be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here or? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut.
Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. We probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Hey, champ. Long time no see. You here to cash in on some more tips from a certified locker room vet? How do I get one of those tour buses that some superstars travel in? <laughs> uh, win a lot of matches and make a lot of money. But in the meantime, if you need a good rental rate on a mid-sized sedan, I got connections. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Any other questions or anything you'd like me to explain again? How do I improve my in-ring skills around here? It's like the old saying goes, practice makes perfect. The more matches and experience you have in WWE, the better. From there, it's usually up to you to determine how you want to apply what you've learned. 
whether it's improving your strength, getting better at submissions, or putting more power behind your punches. You get the idea. You said it's usually up to me what I want to improve. Yep. Sometimes certain kinds of matches will benefit you in a more specific sort of way. But if that's the case, you'll know that going in. Sports entertainer insight, I call it. Okay, cool. Alright, any other questions? Or anything you'd like me to explain again? Yeah, I was wondering, how do I get a match? Great question. From my experience, matches get booked in one of two ways. Talking to people, or checking your social media messages. What do you mean, talking to people? <laughs> exactly what it sounds like. Aside from being booked by management, talking with superstars, the crew, or other backstage visitors can lead to opportunities. Sometimes people might have favors to ask of you. Others might have bones to pick. You know how they say it's who you know? Well, that's definitely true in WWE. Who you know, and who you talk to. Seems easy enough. Don't try to put too much on your plate, though. If somebody wants a favor, you can always tell them no and come back to it later. Or even defuse a tense situation. But once you agree to something, you'll need to see it through. So take it one thing at a time. Makes sense. And the other way to get matches? You mentioned social media. I assume I shouldn't go dark on there while I'm a WWE superstar? Definitely not. Even a veteran like me is always seeing what kind of trouble I can brew up on social media. If you don't check your SMs and DMs, you might miss out on opportunities. Not everything there will lead to a match, but it's worth keeping up with what the WWE universe is up to. Okay, so check my social media feed and direct messages. Got it. Alright, any other questions, or anything you'd like me to explain again? Actually, I think I'm good for now. All right. Well, like I said, if you ever need advice, or even if you just forgot your flip-flops for the shower, I'm here for you. Got it. Want to join my book club? I tried to recruit Robert Rude, but he said the only part of a book he likes is the ending. Or, as he called it, the book's finishing move. He said he's got the best ending in WWE, but I thought maybe you could take him on and show him yours? The man destined to be top dog, it's The Lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Anomaly. Everyone in this match is competing at such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else is glorious. glorious. And his opponent, representing Dirty Dogs from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. up in the ring or 
on the entrance ramp. Because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. He's held the NXT title, Tag oh, Team Championships, go. the United States title. Robert Roode ah. is all business. Robert Roode has tasted success both oh, as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, I like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. The Intercontinental Champion and Robert Roode apparently have unfinished business and they're settling in here on Raw in a finisher match. Anyone else ever heard Roode say he's got the best finisher in WWE? Constantly. But I think he's in for a rude awakening against The Rock. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. A little creative here. Oh, run. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Can Rude withstand much more of this? Looks like Rude's having trouble generating any sort of deep. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Oh my gosh, what impact. To the leg. From the middle, Kinshasa. Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. himself from the ropes. Momentum on the side of the lock. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Fails to connect on the springboard. Rude able to evade. Close line. Off with their head. WWE fans know it. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Interceptor. Evades the attack. What a punch. And Rude reverses. These two showing how well scouted they each are. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Of counter. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Fisherman suplex. And this just goes to show you how confident Robert Roode must feel. I like this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Neck breaker. So smooth. Kick gets caught. A right to the gut. He saw it coming. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Rude able to evade. He's got him in the crosshairs. A rolling thunder into a stutter. Oh, man, he is fired up now. 
Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Uh-oh. Great wherewithal on the counter. Well, out of the way in time. And a kick. He moves just in time. Oh, merciless knee to the face. Guys, not sure how much more Groove can take. We're finding out. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Groove can't be feeling glorious right now. I'll be in trouble, Byron. Oh, and a four. Can Rude withstand much more of this? Looks like Rude's having trouble generating any sort of defense. Rude able to evade. Rude gets fended off. Oh, uh, here we go. Suplex. Oh, wow. Rendered unconscious. The official has to call. Here is your winner. The anomaly. That was an impressive match all around. And here is our winner. Rude lost. What was I getting all those hallelujahs for? Practice? Happy Corbin has been mouthing off about his football career more than usual lately, saying the WWE grind is the same as nonstop two a days, which is why he's so well equipped. <sighs> Give me a break. Take him on after a workout, showing you can compete after a two a day of your own.
Welcome to Raw. Gotta say, I've been a fan of your work for a while. Can't say the same for Drew Gulag, though. I heard him mention your name in a rant about superstars who lack fundamentals. Fundamentals according to who, Drew? But if you ever want to put in a little extra super specific training before a show, you know who to ask.
I just interviewed Ludwig Kaiser, who said WWE matches aren't enough of a test, so he's now proposing a five out of nine falls match. Management hates the idea and would love it if someone could take him out in a two out of three falls match to shut him up. Interested? It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Anomaly. The Lock may be naturally gifted, but he's had to work incredibly hard to make it this far. That's according to his mentor, former WCW wrestler Tavish, who's seen the Lock's grit up close. Make way for Ludwig Kaiser. A man dedicated to the cause of Imperium and its leader, Gunther, proving time and time again that the mat is sacred. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, Weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser! Oh, this is gonna be special to watch. We are looking at a truly refined and elite level competitor. Uh, more like an elitist competitor. That sounds to me like you're a bit envious of Ludwig's talents in the ring. Yeah, there's no denying, however, Ludwig's technical skills. Well, he's still kind of a mean guy. He's not a mean guy, Saxon. He just doesn't like you. No matter who you are, Ludwig Kaiser is a truly intimidating opponent. Not practically unflappable, strict and regimented. And there's such precision in everything he does. The Intercontinental Champion is taking on the German sensation Ludwig Kaiser in a two out of three falls battle of endurance tonight. You think that's endurance? I heard this was originally supposed to be a five out of nine falls match. We got a cover. And there's still plenty of fight left. Too soon for a cover. And that failed to hit the mark. And La Cabeza. Ooh, stinging kick. Ooh. Staved off that attack. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. He'll head to the ring. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Oh, he got a clothesline. Flies to the power. Power bomb, and then the knee right to the face. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. He knows how to avoid contact. There they go. Made it to the top now. From the top. Good move. Good move. Good move. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Well scattered reversal there. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Big uppercut. Right to the face. Tremendous series of kicks. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. The Locke's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh, man. 
and oh man. Oh, 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 foot meet face. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Taking this one back to the ring now. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. He beats the count and this one continues. Taking control. Yeah, he has planted himself in the driver's seat. Oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Jumping knee strike. I like that. Boom. There's in the Chicken wing, underhook, uh-oh. How the hell suplex? Gosh. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. And I think, oh yeah, Kaiser is bleeding. Axe handle from the middle rope. Lock launching attacks left and right. The lock isn't holding anything back. And some effective offense with that one. Ooh, stiff kick. Vicious. Shifts it back onto him. Ooh. Ooh, what a knee strike. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. What a barrage of stops. Escape just in time. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. Turn the exchange around and swept him. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Oh, uh, here we go. Suplex. What? Thanks for coming. Has the lock settled this? Makes the cover. Here is your winner, the Anomaly. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match, never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, 
you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Anomaly. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. The Brawling Bruce, Ridge Holland. And his opponent, accompanied by Sami Zayn, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland yeah. learned his craft from some of the biggest names in British wrestling, but he now sits under the learning tree of perhaps the best brawler in WWE history. A man you definitely don't want to start a fight with. You know that old adage, speak softly and carry a big stick? Well, it certainly applies to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. Spectacular debut. The Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn has apparently opted to rehab his neck at ringside. Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, stop right to the hand. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Just cranking the head. Momentum on the side of the lock. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. He's lost some of his win now. Hold your breath. Wow! He fends off the attack. Oh, that can rock you. Strikes with a kick. 
Ridge looking for a raucous fight. Saving us from having to sit through that. And he's taking out a person. Not allowing that to go on any longer. He went right into that turnbuckle. Up on the turnbuckle now. Oh my God, all the way to the outside. That hurt. down with high impact. Ridge prevents that from connecting. Plums line with the left arm. Nailed it. with a hurtful purpose. Zayn looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sammy. Rich Holland with that fighting Yorkshire grit just taunting his foe. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Something about the safe could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they gonna do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion's gonna be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sammy and Ridge want no part of him. Oh, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage.